Hello, the Dark Ash 344 here, and in today's video, I'll be um, showing off this simple program counter that I've designed. So, this is a fairly simple um, 8 bit counter that is um, designed, well, primarily to be used as a program counter in a CPU. And um, yeah, it just works fairly well. It's um, a 5 tick counter at its fastest. You can, of course, um, change that. Um, by slowing it down. At the moment I've got it hooked up to a 6 tick clock um, but its maximum speed is um, 5 ticks uh, which means that this counter can do 2 hertz. So fairly useful for say like a pipeline to CPU. Um, also this is just quite useful for um, normal CPUs in general because um, it's a synchronous counter so we don't have problems um, with say like a ripple counter where you'll get some transition states and that's especially useful um, in this use case because um, if you're addressing, um, say, program memory, uh, you don't want um, like some transition states like rippling um, because um, you can have like instructions accidentally executed um, when they're not meant to be because of the wrong address um, shortly displaying in those transition states. So this is the way this counter works: is um, instead of a traditional uh, counter circuit. So instead of using, say, like a ripple counter or even a synchronous counter design um, using, like, say, T, T flip flops or stuff, I've um, opted to use um, an adder circuit instead. And there are a few reasons for this. So the, the number one reason is just because it's fairly fast. So this whole counter, of course, is 2 hertz. And while, well, yes, you can get faster um, synchronous counters and stuff. Um, yeah, it's it just works and it's it's still synchronous just like a normal synchronous counter would be because it uses a carry cancel adder. And this design I think was by Don from the All Server, so go check um the mount on the All Server. And um it basically is just works by um using these registers to store um the the address uh, which will get passed background into the adder which will be um, added, well, it'll have one added to whatever it has, and then it'll be output over here, and these registers will update. So the reason why um, this is um, better than, say, like a, um, a synchronous counter or something is because we can um, pass in offset values. So, for instance, um, when you're writing machine code, um, especially longer programs, this is normally longer programs where this is more useful, um, sometimes um, if you include in, into your CPU architecture um, a branch or jump instruction, um, if you're moving your code around, so because machine code is very line dependent, if you're moving your code around, you will have to constantly go back to any jump or branch instruction and update the line numbers because um, your code would have like moved lines or whatever because you've, you may have like inserted code before or after basically. And that's, um, well, a big problem because it's just tedious. So instead, you may um, have a branch or jump um, offset command. So what this would do is instead of branching or jumping to a specific address, um, you are actually passing an offset value to um, to your counter. And what it would do is, is it would add um, whatever your current address is um, with the offset uh, value that you've passed in. So that would mean that um, Say I wanted to branch four lines, well, I'd, I'd, I'd have a branch command um, also with an offset of four. So instead of jumping to, say, like, line 59, um, it would actually just um, add four to whatever the line was. Um, and that means you can move your code wherever, and it would, st like, wh whatever lines you want it on, and it would still just work fine. So this is extremely useful instruction to have. So as we can see, um, we are currently on um, 000, 000, 000, 10, and say we wanted to um, um, jump with an offset of say, uh, let's say four. Actually, we'll do um, six. Um, then all we have to do is pass in um, six into uh, the this over here, these control bars, and then we disable the increment function and. Um, we clock it once, like this. And I'm just going to re-enable this for later. And as you can see, um, the current address, well, the current address, I guess, 
um, has just had six added to it. So you, of course you can do this with other numbers and do as many times as possible. So that's a very useful feature to have. Then of course some instructions, well you still will probably want to do jump to, jump to or branch to a specific line. So over here you can actually pass this in. So say we wanted to um, jump to uh, line 5, well we can just pass a 5 in, uh, hit this over here and it would update to a 5. And of course we can um, pass in whatever value, say a 0, um, hit this over here and it would update uh, to that value. So that's a quite an another useful feature to have. So of course um, being a program counter it can of course count, so what it will do is just increment um, uh, by 1. So over here uh, we have a 6 tick clock, a redstone tick clock, and if we turn it on, as you can see, each 6 redstone ticks um, will have one added to whatever it is. And this is quite a useful counter circuit to use. Um, of course you can take your outputs from here or here, anywhere really. And then your inputs would go here, and because um, we've used comparators here, it means you can have whatever on your inputs and it shouldn't matter too much. Um, of course, whenever it's clocking, it'll update by this. So for instance, instead of incrementing by one each clock cycle, say we wanted to increment by two, well, we can turn off the increment function again. And then with our offset value, we can pass say an offset value of two in. Um, and so instead of adding one, um, like it's doing over here, um, it will add two. So now when we turn this clock on, as you can see, um, it's going up by two. But yeah, so that, that's just another feature it has. So yeah, there'll probably be a world download of this in the description. And I'll try label the signs this time. Um, there's only one thing that you have to worry about and that's um, passing an offset value in. Because um, there's actually no control logic on these. So if we pass like this in, whenever it'll next clock, this will actually this register will be updated to, to a one, and that can be a bit of a problem um, if it's trying to count and you accidentally pass in an address here. So what you will need to do is say um, put comparators like this, and then have repeaters here, so you can um, turn the signal on or off going into this whenever you want to actually. Um, jump to a certain line. So yeah, this is quite a useful program counter I guess. And yeah, feel free to use it in your computer designs, just leave credit to this video maybe. And yeah, I hope you liked this video, please like and subscribe, and I'm out.